Greetings to all learners. My name is Gaurav Gupta and I am a faculty of physics at SRN International School, Jagatpura, Jaipur. Today, I will be teaching you about topic Newton's first law of motion, chapter 9, force and laws of motion of grade 9th. Now, let's start with the topic. In this, first of all, we will discuss about Newton's first law of motion or we can say that law of inertia because the another name of Newton's first law is law of inertia. Now the question arises what is inertia? Inertia is the inherent property of body by virtue of which it resists any change occurring in its state. For example, a stone is lying on the floor and this stone is being pushed or pulled by some external force. If the force applied is less than the inertia of stone, then the stone will not move. This shows that stone is applying some resistive force and that is due to the property of inertia. Inertia is that property which is always directly proportional to the mass of the object. That is, if mass increases, then inertia also increases and vice versa. For example, a box which is of 50 kg is kept on a floor and a boy is pushing that box. So the boy is unable to push that box. The reason is the inertia of box is greater than the inertia of boy. Now we decrease the mass of the box to 5 kg and now the boy is able to push that box. The reason is inertia of boy now becomes greater than the inertia of box. This shows that inertia is directly proportional to the mass. Now we come to the types of inertia. First inertia of rest. Inertia of rest states that if a body is in the position of rest it continues to be in that state until or unless any external force is applied on it to change its state. Second inertia of motion. Inertia of motion explain us that if a body is in continuous motion it remains in the same position until or unless compelled by some external force to come to rest. Next third inertia of direction. Inertia of direction specifies that the body if taking a turn on a sharp points then it continues to be in the same direction until or unless it is compelled by some external force. Now finally we come to the Newton's first law of motion. Newton's first law of motion states that if an object is in the position of rest or in the continuous motion it remains in the same state until or unless it is compelled by an external force. Thank you and have a nice day. Please like share and subscribe our channel.